welcome to this devotion series. My name's Phil Strong and it's my uh, delight to bring you this series I'm calling the Luke 10 Lifestyle. This devotion series really goes in partnership with the teaching series we've got called Alive. So there'll be some links in the description. You can go to the playlist and see the messages. But these five devotions are really short and punchy, but we're just going to go through the book, uh, the 10th chapter of the book of Luke. So this is why it's called the Luke 10 Lifestyle. Five simple messages. And in this first one, I really want to say to you that Jesus wants to send you. Jesus wants to send you. Look at the beginning of Luke chapter 10. It says, The Lord now chose 72 other disciples and sent them ahead in pairs to all the towns and places he planned to visit. Now, this was his instructions to them. The harvest is great. The workers are few. Pray to the Lord who's in charge of the harvest and ask him to send more workers. Now go. Remember, I am sending you. Wherever you enter someone's home, first say, may peace and God's blessing be on this house. What's my point here for you? In the Luke 10 lifestyle, we need to understand that Jesus Christ wants to send you. It is about being sent out. What does this mean? It means that Jesus is the one that determines your context. He's the one that determines the place you should be and the place you should go. There's a message that I spoke uh, recently called Your Context is Your Calling. You see the link below. The context is the calling means that where God places you is your assignment, where you're called to bring the light, the life, the hope and the love of Jesus Christ into a dark world. But you don't get to choose that. You don't get to say, oh, Lord, well, like I just want to sit here in my comfy place and use me. No, no, no. Jesus might say, hey, look, I'm going to upset you. I'm going to stir you. I'm going to call you. I'm going to send you to the place that you weren't expecting. There's a contrast. Think about uh, the difference between Peter, the apostle, and Paul, the apostle. Paul was trained as a Jewish rabbi, knew the law intimately, and yet God sent him to the Gentiles. Peter was a fisherman, a bumbling, uh, put his foot in his mouth kind of guy that failed school, didn't know the scriptures in the same way Paul did, and yet he was the apostle that got sent to the Jews to, to, to stir the church, as it were. So, so we don't get to choose that context. So, so what I want you to do is I want you to think about how can you come back to Jesus and say, I want to be sent by you. Now, it might not mean that you're sent very far. You know, uh, you could be saying, hey, Jesus, why don't you send me to Hawaii to the beach uh, where it's warm every day? Well, you can pray that if you want. Let me know how it works out for you. But if you just say, here I am, Lord, send me. Here I am, Lord, send me. That's from Isaiah chapter six. Here I am, Lord, send me. And if you pray that prayer with humility and a genuine desire to be obedient, I believe the Lord will have his eye on you. I believe the Lord will call you, but I believe the Lord will commission you to be uh, one of those ones that sees miraculous things happen through your faithfulness. So in this first devotion, I want you to have a look at the booklet that we've prepared for you. There's a couple of really challenging questions that you can work through with someone else to help understand what Jesus is trying to draw you into. Okay, so in this Luke 10 lifestyle, the first devotion is all about you being sent by Jesus understanding that he chooses it, not you. But I would say this to you as I close. You can be confident that whilst the calling might not be comfortable, I want you to understand that Jesus says, go in peace and go in power. Jesus says to you, go in peace and go in power. And may that really encourage you as you choose, will decide whether you're going to respond uh, to what Jesus is calling you into. So may God bless you as you do the devotional uh, discussions. And as you stir yourself with faith with someone else, with someone else, may God truly lead you into a new place of uh, partnering with Him. All right, so this is the first message, devotion series uh, called uh, Luke 10 Lifestyle. This has been message number one, and I hope to see you at message number two.